back to this topic, uh, we know, again, we've mentioned any woman could be uh, susceptible to breast cancer or man. However, when a girl is growing up, and we're talking of every woman from when they start becoming, uh, you know, having the breast there in puberty all the way to their old age, who is susceptible? And can you just tell us also how it's caused and how it can be prevented in that case? Um, thank you for uh, once before we go to how it costs and yes. what is uh, the causes. Eh? Yes. Let's start with the causes. Eh? Yes. Uh, among the causes of breast cancer, we have uh, the modifiable factors mm -hmm. and those are that are non-modifiable. Mm -hmm. Modifiable are, are the fact that those ones that you can do something about them mm -hmm. to change. Okay. And the non-modifiable ones are the ones that you have no control over, they just oh. come. Oh, okay. Yes. So, so, sorry, so in other words, for those who are at home and they're not understanding, uh, it's basically habits that can be changed and habits that cannot be changed because they're pattern or the predisposed yes, patterns. Yes, uh, in simple talking that those things like, uh, those, like we've said, the habits that we, we can yes. change yes, yes, and yes. those ones that we have no control yes. over, we cannot change despite yes. natural, uh -huh. they're just, uh, yes. they're natural, yes. they're those that they come as a result of us, mm -hmm. our making, yes. and those ones that they just come naturally. Okay, yes. could you give an example of each? For example, for the things that we have no control over our, our genes. True. Yes, our genes, we are naturally born with the genes. There, there are some specific genes that they just run in our family. So you have no control over. Gen uh, genetically, you are predisposed to cancer uh, for, the fact, uh, for the fact that maybe you, along your lineage, your lineage yes. Yes. yes, people that you may know mm -hmm. or you might not, you might not mm -hmm. know about mm -hmm. your show shows, mm -hmm. your, mm -hmm. they had it. Yes. You never met you never met them, sure. but they had it. Yes. So it might come to you uh, with the fact that yes. you have a, oh, okay. a, a link to that yes, show, show that uh, you never saw. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. So that is, uh, those are genes we have no control over. Yes, and maybe the environment. Yes. And then there's uh, the, the ones that are the, like uh, uh, another thing that uh, we have no control mm -hmm. over, mm -hmm. our, our hormones. Women have hormones. True. Yes, true, we have true, no true. Uh, control of our hormones. Mm -hmm. yeah. How they, whatever they do with our bodies, we have no There's control over them. can do about it. Yes. Even, yes. Age. Even age. Age, you have yeah. no control over yes. your yes. age. Yes. Yes, we can yes. say, I can say I'm 20, mm -hmm. but I'm 50. Oh, it doesn't matter mm -hmm. if I feel 20, <laughs> but, true. but in oh, real, oh, oh, I'm yes. 50. Age is so what you feel, not uh, how you are. <laughs> Yes, I have no control yes. over you, uh, over my age. As yes. much as I want to still stay young and say I'm 20, yes, yes. my age is moving the, and I'm getting predisposed the body, to. Yes, the and the body aging. changes are there yes. and they're happening to my breasts. Yes. So those are not things that you have, you have control over. Okay. Yes, then, okay. then the other, the, there's another one that you have control over like uh, weight. Mm -hmm. You can choose to mm. have the kind of weight that mm. you have. Mm. Yes. Okay. Uh, diet maybe? Diet? Yes. Yeah, now diet comes in uh, with the weight. Okay. Basically. Yes, basically, uh -huh. uh, uh, yeah, diet too, mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, where we, we uh, most of us like this sedentary lifestyle, mm -hmm. just want to eat a certain type type of food uh, yes, that yes, predisposes us. Yes, could you uh, just do, delve into that a bit, yeah? because I know that's one thing, no matter what you do, it will happen every single day. If I decide to eat particular foods that could cancer-causing, th that's something, and, and that's what everyone at home is doing. Could you maybe give us examples of foods, uh, you know, and the way they are processed, that could be a factor, a contributory factor towards cancer? Uh, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say I really have facts on the foods, huh? yes. but uh, most of the time we were, the, uh, you know, we, the, the kind of foods we feed on, mm -hmm. huh? they are, those are the canned foods that mm -hmm. mixed with a lot of chemicals okay. that maybe are the ones that cause okay. problems to okay. our bodies. Okay. So mm -hmm. most of the time uh, uh, people who like, who like a lot of uh, fat, the meat, they say kuna those, um, do I say casino genes, something yeah. like that, oh. in such things eh, okay. that predispose us to uh -huh. developing some kind of cancer, like okay. maybe breast. True. Then uh, diet-wise, uh, mm -hmm. they say there's a diet called Mediterranean diet, like, uh, okay, it tends to prevent cancer, not really 100%, okay. uh, 
but mostly it includes things that most of us don't like eating mm, true. legumes yes. vegetables yes. fruits yes. such things eh? yes. they are healthy diets that when you maintain yourself on them yes uh, the chances of you lowering yes. are higher yes. and like somebody who's feeding on a junk <laughs> a lot of junk <laughs> junk, junk right, you know right. plus when you're feeding on a lot of junk you know yes. you it's true you're getting fat yes, eh? yes, and uh, yes. Okay, fat is well, yeah, big, um, um, unhealthy. Yeah, yes, unhealthy. unhealthy. You're getting unhealthy. Yes, yes, you're not able to control your weight. Ex exactly. But uh, somebody who's feeding on these other uh, natural uh, legumes and mm. stuff, kind of, mm. you rarely get people who just grow. True. Go. True. True. Yes. And, and and also habits. You know, like smoking. Smoking. Yes, yes uh, smoking is another yes. predisposing factor. Yes. Uh, the fact that I'm a woman mm. predisposes me to getting breast cancer the fact that you are a man yes yes predisposes yes. you yes. to yes. getting cancer yes and uh, some breast cancer conditions mm. also predispose you to get to mm. getting cancer like uh, yes. for example the women who naturally have some uh, some swellings in their breasts yes. or some kind of we call it hyperplasia mm. i don't know how it's called uh, the simple mm. way yeah? okay. but those are things that will predispose you to getting okay. breast cancer oh, okay. sometimes you just born with them mm -hmm. they just come True. Yes, so those are yes. things that will predispose you to getting yes. cancer. Okay. Then plus uh, maybe you have history. I've talked about the history. The history is uh, more genetic. Gen yes. Genetic. Yes, yes, then yes. you have uh, another uh, something like um, mm -hmm. uh -huh, something like what? Mm -hmm. History of history. previous yes. cancer. Oh, cancers. Yes, yes, yes. History yes. of yes. other cancers. Uh, okay. You had. Uh, other cancers uh -huh. they would predispose you like they may mystify and move and move wow. and move and go. true 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 yes. so it's the aspect of radiation as well yeah is that now because i've heard you mention cancer treatment so is the is it the radiation that will no, yes. that no, it's not the radiation that can cause uh, the being like a risk factor yes. is like maybe you had can maybe cancer of another place okay let's let me say maybe a, a lymphoma mm. then you go to radiation which were exposed to the upper part of the body you know yes. our breasts have, have so yes. many cells yes so that's one of the factor that can yes. it's a predisposing factor uh -huh. but the other radiation is mm -hmm. meant for treatment absolutely yeah okay uh, and uh, finally the age factor yes, yes maybe you can break us uh, break that down yes for us. the age factor yes the 50 years plus but mm -hmm. currently mm -hmm. there are records that even the younger generation are getting breast cancer wow. but uh, before we used to say mm -hmm. like uh, at least 50 plus wow. but I, I don't know if it's the kind of the exposure we mm -hmm. get mm -hmm. as as uh, actually there's a, a scenario I ever saw a girl as uh, as young as 14 years yeah. with breast oh, cancer oh, yes oh. yes so yeah. age factor yes it's not like before where we used to say at least 50 plus because of those changes in hormones and yes. stuff like that yes. but as early as a 14 year old yes. i've seen a 14 year old with breast yes. cancer yes. Yes. So, yeah, so it's woman, very important yes you as early as you get yes your mammary glands yes. you really have to take action yes. and examine yes. anything you see abdominal yes don't say I'm too young to have cancer. Yes, 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 I'm not yes, too yes. young to have cancer. Oh, You're not too true. young to it's have true. cancer. I have seen some 20 something year olds yes. with yeah, cancer. Yeah, just in addition to the risk factor mm -hmm. yes. aspect, yes. they usually say that uh, having a risk factor mm -hmm. doesn't mean that th <laughs> maybe some of them, maybe somebody already yes. is obese, yes, is yes, what. Yes, yes. It doesn't mean that those risk factors, once you have them, you mm. will have cancer. Yes. You can still get cancer yes. without the risk factors. Yes. That's yeah. why we say yeah. there's no common or specific, specific. cause for cancer. Uh, and, and that's very important to note, mm. but uh, it doesn't hurt to live a healthy life. It is very uh, important. Eat healthy, yeah. organic foods, exercise, drink your water, do not smoke. I think it's quite obvious because mm. the minute you lead a healthy life, most likely you will prevent all these illnesses. Sure. And uh, again, it's so obvious. Anybody could get it, uh, despite the people who are susceptible yeah. to these cancers. And uh, again, it's the same as prostate cancer for men who are after a certain age. And it's actually becoming more and more common. All right, so um, uh, Mercy, the patient is here, the patient has been diagnosed and uh, the doctor has to take uh, now the lead to the next stages. Mm. Um, how does it work? 
Now, um, before treatment is begun, first of all, you talk. That's why it's important to stage the disease. Absolutely. Because once you stage the disease, you will know now how do you approach it. Mm -hmm. So there are main goals which doctors use mm -hmm. to treat to treat a patient mm -hmm. or a client who has cancer. Mm -hmm. So one of the main goals that everyone wishes and we all wish for our patients is cure. Yes. That's the very first and foremost uh, goal for treatment. Yes. So mm -hmm. after that, there is another goal, depending on the stage of the disease, which is control. Maybe this, the, the way the disease has spread, maybe it's on the third stage, mm -hmm. it has moved to several organs mm -hmm. that you cannot really eliminate it. Mm -hmm. You can't do surgery. Maybe sure. it's a risk even to the patient to do surgery. So yes. you aim at controlling the disease. Controlling you will give chemotherapy, yes. radiotherapy, yes. even hormonal treatment to okay. ensure that yes. the disease is under control. It doesn't multiply anymore. The, mm -hmm. the tumor remains shrinked. Mm -hmm so that the patient can continue living a normal life. Oh. Then the last and foremost mm -hmm. goal of treatment is to palliate. Mm. To palliate, it means to mm -hmm. ensure that the patient is comfortable despite mm -hmm. having cancer, because mm -hmm. even if somebody gets cancer, which, which can be you or me, sure. you deserve to live a comfortable life Very true. Yeah, and mm. a, a dignified life. Yes. So palliation, basically, it means just ensuring that the patient is comfortable, mm free of pain mm -hmm. able to meet other activities of life yes some can even go to work but yes. they're still on palliative treatment yes. okay yeah so th those are the main three uh -huh. goals of treatment of cancer okay and uh wow <laughs> it's it's actually quite deep to think that when a person is diagnosed with cancer it doesn't mean that sentence you know as many other bigger diseases are and um, maybe you can just explain to us the elephant in the room um, how do the numbers look like in terms of diagnosis uh, in, in, in your place of work do you cure more patients or do you lose more patients in general from observation <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's a heavy from question. A, mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, this is just a personal yes. opinion. Yes, yes, yes. Like generally, what we are at our place of work, mm -hmm. what I usually see, yes. I think majority of us, mm. we don't go for screenings oh, eh, most I of the see. time. I mean, so no. the most cases that we are seeing yes. are advanced yes. cancers. Yes. Advanced cancers. Mm -hmm. And uh, advanced cancers, you, uh, what we've seen, survival rate, just a few years then, they are gone. Right. Yes, the numbers are that are the numbers of people dying from breast cancer are higher. Yes. From where I work because yes, yes. they come late. They come late. Sure, sure, we sure. rarely get stage one, mm, stage two. And two we yeah. Usually, yeah. most of our admissions yes. are stage three, stage four. Yes. Yeah. Advanced. Yes. They are gone, gone, yes. gone, gone. Yes. Yes. So, yes. yeah, they are mm. very gone. So mm. you were explaining to this mm, mama, mm. like, no, we are mm. at this stage. They are like. But it's just like a small thing here, I'm feeling. See me a yeah. like last month, yeah. then you, you know, yeah. it comes harder. Yes. Yes, because mm. uh, most of us Kenyans, I, I think, not really Kenyans, uh, mm. most of us, our habits, we are not uh, the health seekers. Uh, yes. We wait for us to, at least I have to have like a headache yes, before yes, I go yes, for, yes, you know, yes, like yes, I have yes. a headache. Yes. And when I have a headache, yes. let me go buy some paracetamol, yes. swallow then, my headache you're, you're is gone and I'm fine. Yes. So by the time I'm going, like, mm. hey, this headache is not going away. Yes. So, oh, let me go to the hospital. Yes. Then when you ask, like, uh -huh. a year ago, I yeah. felt this something. Mm. Then I was like, ah. people oh. said, I mean, it's just nothing. Oh my. And again, mm. I think we, uh, another thing we would say maybe, mm. Uh, is it? I wouldn't really call it ignorance. It's mm -hmm. just maybe lack of information. I think it's a culture of fear. Of fear. Yeah, yeah, and our fear, fear of diagnosis. Fear, yes, yes, fear, yes, fear yes, of yes, diagnosis. Yes. yes. Because yes. even medics, you mm. tell them, have you gone for your screening? Uh -uh. My goodness, actually. What if they true. get it's cancer? What, what, will if, I it, do? what if it's cancer? Not even that. Yeah? You know, ideally, every human being should have a yearly body screening. Yes. I can tell you the numbers are so low. They are so low. And yes. that's the only way you can catch some of these diseases. Yes, sure. yes. Right? Mm. And yeah. you can, other than the eating well and all that, it doesn't hurt to just once a year go to your doctor, uh, take some samples. In fact, you take samples and you walk away yeah. other than the physical exam, yeah. which could include that. And it can be 
curable. Like we said, it's very curable. Yeah. Any cancer in that case, yeah? yeah. Other than the unfortunate uh, biggest monster, which is blood cancer. Yes. And um, I, I think, uh, again, these people at home, what can we tell them in terms of also these, the, the factors we've mentioned? And then there's the finances. Yes. Yeah. Yes. About the finances, mm -hmm. because you can never tell when you'll be sick. Yes. It's, it's always good just to invest, I think it's 500 shillings per month mm. to ensure you have an, at least a medical cover. Yes. And the cheapest, I think, is NHIF cover. Yes. yes. So my advice to people at home mm. would be that please, eh, please just ensure that you have an NHIF cover. Yes. Just save a coin each day. Yes. So that by the end of the month, you can raise 500 yes. shillings, yes. you pay for the NHIF, yes. which will be of great help, exactly. actually. Yes. Of great help, especially not even cancer or mm. any other any disease. Other disease yes. Because most hospitals nowadays, mm. there is a cover. Yes. If you have NHIF, yes. it can be, the treatment can be catered yes. for. Yes. And for cancer, if you, it's just for money, money yes. using money cash, yes. it can be quite ex expensive yes. and draining. Yes. Yeah. Yes, because we see so many, I think every day somewhere in the social media, there are medical appeals and it's always the same thing, yeah. cancer, cancer, cancer. Yeah. So I think it's good to, for every person to do what they can, yes. other than prevent, uh, check, get screening, and also just have something little uh, on the side to you know, cater for even the basic treatment, you know, yeah. even those tests, because I know they're not cheap. They're not cheap. But at the same time, there's this other option yes. of saving 20 shillings a day for your health. And they yeah. say, health is wealth. Yeah, health is sure. You cannot work when you're ill. You cannot be a mother when you're dying at 40 years. Where else you could have done something about it sure. in that case, yeah? Yes, what yes. I usually tell people, yes. you see, mm -hmm. you might be so concentrating so much on going to work and yes. working and working, yes. forgetting, Yes. God forbid today you're diagnosed. Yes. Yes. All that money is like gone. 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 You die and yes. leave that money there. So yeah. you really have to invest in your yes. health. Or even deplete. You really it. have to be healthy exactly. in your uh, medical covers. Yes. NHIF, yes. Uh, people should just make sure they have an NHIF. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yes. They, especially the young ones will tell you, when will I fall sick to use it? Yeah. To them, it's a waste of money. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, because they've had coma. When, when, when am I going to use it? Yes. Yes, I remember yes. there's one who told me. Yeah. When am I going to use it? Wow. Yes. Yeah. When, when will I ever use it? So okay, they see no need. Okay, at least take a small one where you can just make your. Then you just people. have yeah. let it, let it yeah. just be there because uh, yes. people don't apply to get sick. No, they do not. Nobody applies to fall sick. And you cannot. You can sick. just be walking and yes. use. Yes. Fall down and yes. you become sick. And you so become this NHIF will come in and yes. sort you out. Absolutely. Because yes. cancer treatment is a burden. It's a burden. It's a burden. Yes. Especially if you don't have any any cover. Mm. It's a burden to you yes. psychologically. Yes. Everything physically. Yes. It's a burden to you. It's yes. a burden to your family. Yes. You most of people sell mm. things mm. and you eventually you, you die or mm. somebody dies. So true. You're dead, but you've left your family. Oh broke. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It's true. Nothing. It's true. And and I, I actually feel eventually as we wrap up, yeah, uh, could you also explain to us, all of us, how the treatment takes place, yeah? Uh, is there a period? Just maybe tell me the shortest of the period to the longest, the types of treatment and any other care that you give to either uh, patients that you're trying to cure a control and the other words that you used which is to make them comfortable yeah. to their eventuality um, maybe you can walk us through that at first the types of treatment uh, the shortest period and the longest period and now the other kind of care maybe psychological care and all that so to begin with the types of treatment mm -hmm. the first one that I mentioned was surgery yeah, surgery is one type whereby they will remove the tumor as a whole if it's caught early stage one stage two yeah mm -hmm. so after that they combine it with chemotherapy you've come you have a mass it has been confirmed it's cancerous mm -hmm. the first thing they'll first of all give you chemotherapy sorry mm -hmm. chemotherapy is a, a type of cancer treatment okay. whereby it acts to shrink the tumor mm -hmm. so that it's not that big mm -hmm. so after that chemotherapy mm -hmm. it can also it can either be oral mm -hmm. or through the veins yes yes yeah. so then after that is where now they go remove 
it through surgery, mm -hmm. the tumor. Then depending with the stage, if maybe it's, it has gone to stage three and it can be removed, mm. a patient is now exposed to radiation. Mm. Radiation is a very strong X-rays that are directed to the tumor to ensure oh. that the cells that oh. are dividing yes. very fast are yes. killed. Yes. To ensure that you remain uh -huh. clean, uh, free of the oh. of the yes. tumor. Yes. Then there, there is also another form of treatment. Mm -hmm. It's called hormonal therapy. Okay. They use hormones to treat and control the disease. Uh -huh. So in this case, mm -hmm. you know, in our bodies, mm -hmm. something that I would like to mention, mm -hmm. I hope it's not complicated. Yes. We women mostly, mm -hmm. we have two major hormones, progesterone mm -hmm. yes. and estrogen, estrogen. Yes. which is even co contained in the normal pills that we, yes, take, we take to control yeah. the hormones yes. in our body. Yes. So hormonal therapy mostly, mm -hmm. it prevents the cancer cells mm -hmm. from getting attracted to the hormones okay. that I've hormones. mentioned. Okay. The reason is, uh -huh. these two hormones, yes. they are like, you see, in chemistry used to call catalyst. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. So they are like catalyst to the cancer cell. Yes, so if yes, yes. hormone therapy blocks, mm -hmm. it blocks mm -hmm. so that the cancer cell and the hormones in our bodies don't match. They don't meet. Okay. Okay. So in that case, the tumor will be controlled. Okay. It's not replicate and okay. multiply yes. more so yes. that it can like spread and meta spread in the rest yes, of the body yes yeah yes wow today's the first time i'm hearing about then the last one the <laughs> oh there's another one yeah the last oh, okay. one yes there's a bio biological therapy okay yeah uh -huh. now this one it is meant to mimic your immune system mm -hmm. there are the tablets that can be given they mm -hmm. mimic your immune system mm -hmm. in that uh, it boosts your body to fight against okay. the cancer okay. cells. Okay. Yeah. And which is the most common among the four, or does it <coughs> depend on the among, cancer? Among those that I've mentioned, mostly yes. we do surgery, it's yes. common. Yes. Chemotherapy. Yes. Radiotherapy mm -hmm. and even hormonal therapy. Yes, in yes, that yes. order. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the biology. Then the biological. The biological. Yes. Therapy. Still okay. It's, yeah. Wow. Uh, is there any other kind of support you give to the patients and uh, how long does it, which is the shortest amount of time and the longest a patient can be on treatment? That one I'd say it depends with the response. Of course. There is, the, mostly mm -hmm. patients will put on a specific cycle, mm -hmm. maybe 28 days of oh. radiation, mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. this radiotherapy. Mm -hmm. So after the 28 days, mm -hmm. they do the, the ones that she told us, CT scan, yes, yes, MRI, yes, 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 yes. to check the response to yes, treatment. Yes. Now the response to treatment is mm -hmm. what we direct the doctor to mm -hmm. know how long the patient will be on treatment. Oh, because okay. if maybe some patients, there are different types of responses. Yes. Some are like complete response, mm -hmm. so that after the scheduled time of treatment, mm -hmm. you find the tumor is gone, mm -hmm. gone. Wow. no more okay. they only put this, this patient on a maintenance dose mm. for a period of like five years to ensure that if mm. there's anything remaining it doesn't, it doesn't come again, come again yes. so and there's uh, the other response uh, the patient will come mm -hmm. to just be stable response okay stable meaning mm. the tumor is just there like this cup even yes. after <laughs> radiation <laughs> yeah. after chemotherapy yes niko too would you find any niko yes yeah <laughs> yes. that's a stable tumor <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> then there's uh, other response whereby mm -hmm. it will be quite partial, mm. Amekuja, uh -huh. the tumor has just reduced a little bit, yeah. so depending with the response is when the duration of treatment will, okay. it, yeah, okay. it depends mm. on the patient's response. Right, yeah. and maybe, maybe um, Mili could demystify, because I have, maybe mostly in the movies, seen cancer patients who've been diagnosed and they say, I don't want chemo because it's going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, maybe demystify that for uh, people watching at home and uh, show them the advantage of uh, yeah. treatment, seeking treatment, of letting the cancer take them out, which I also know it's a personal choice, uh, depending on the age, maybe the patient is too old and they're like, there's no need for this. Uh, could you demystify the death by chemo? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they yes. have a right to feel that way. Yes. Yeah, I think uh, most of the people will feel death by chemo mm -hmm. because uh, of the fear, a lot of the fear of the the, uh, the outcome. Mm. Majority of people maybe will say like if they don't have proper information about yes. what chemotherapy does to the body yes. and the cancer, yes. that is the time I'll feel uh, I'll fear and say yes. that chemo will kill me. True. But the, if they explained mm. like this, this might be the only option for you. Mm. This uh, chemotherapy is. Uh, 
it's going to destroy that cancer yeah. cells yeah. and the possibility or probability of you living longer of b or beating cancer yes. is high, high. I think people will not be saying cancer yes. will kill you. So mm -hmm. information. information. Yeah, the information. Yes. Most of the people may lack information yes. to make the right choice. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. They wow. should also rely on what the doctor tells you. Tells because yes. outside there, you'll <laughs> yes. be told with the streets, this yes. disease, yes. like the, the radiation will burn you. Yes. They call it kuchoma. Uh, it, kuchoma. it will burn you. So, so yes. The patient becomes worried. So true, 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 yes. rely with the information from the healthcare provider yes. who is yes. taking care of uh, you. Absolutely. Mm. Uh, so, uh, we have so much to talk about and I really am thankful that you took your time to come and explain to our audience and also teach me along the way about cancer and put a face on it and also, um, you know, remove that aspect of ignorance in the most respectful way, which is lack of information. Yes, yes. So uh, for you, Masi, any final words to anybody watching out there about this thing, cancer? My final word to anybody watching is that cancer is treatable and it's manageable. Yeah, that's that's very important for everybody to know. Mm. Especially now that today we've been talking about ca breast cancer. Mm. It's very important that just, I'll just repeat, go for your routine checkup so that when the cancer is got in an early stage, trust in God, you will be well. Yes. It will be treated. Wonderful. So to avoid many problems, mm -hmm. many worries, mm -hmm. kindly just go for mm -hmm. early, early checkup. Check screening yes. screening yes. is the yes. core. Yes. Go for yes. screening. Yes. The disease will be caught early and mm -hmm. don't fear. Because yes. people fear because yes. they say, what if I get cancer? Sure. Sure. You better have the courage to go. Yes. It's caught early then. Yes. You get treated. Absolutely. Then you live your normal life. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And Mimi, I'll echo what she has said. Yes. Right? Well, everything she has said mm -hmm. is okay. It's very correct. Then uh, I will say, uh, we all know cancer takes a toll on people and family. Mm. Uh, if you feel like if you're a cancer patient, you, you feel overwhelmed. Mm. There are counselors mm. that are there who can, you uh, can talk to yes, yes, yes. for you to air out mm. your worries. Mm. And uh, uh, you may not be helped financially, mm. but mm. psychological well being yes, contributes yes. a lot to you. Absolutely. Healing. Yes. Yes. So yes. if you feel overwhelmed, mm -hmm. you should talk to people. Mm -hmm. Go and see your doctor. Mm -hmm. Tell your doctor how you're feeling. Maybe the doctor will link you to a person you can talk to. Yes. And then you get through. Yes. Uh, you get through your stress. Absolutely. Because cancer is a yeah. burden. And uh, I want to also tell the uh, uh, women, uh, mm -hmm. even uh, men, if you go mm -hmm. to see a doctor, yes. feel free to ask uh, your doctor, your mm -hmm. oncologist, nurse, mm -hmm. all the kind of questions yeah. you want to know. Yeah. Uh, bef before, da if, uh, when a diagnosis is given to you, mm -hmm. ask what are my mode of action, mm -hmm. uh, my treatment, mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes. what are my options? Uh? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that you're able to decide uh, mm -hmm. uh, after you be you've been told uh, you are at this stage. Ask your doctor, what are my options? What is the outcome? This one will, will help you plan your life. Yeah. Because uh, yes. if you've been told maybe you're in stage four, mm. then you, uh, may, you're you holding on that hope like, I'm going, true, okay, you might true, get true, healed, true. Uh, yes. but peer, the chances that you might not, yeah. you yeah. might not make it a yeah. very high yes. compared yeah. to yes. you surviving. Yes. So when you get to know, us, uh, to know like uh, what are my options, mm. what is my outcome, mm. especially what is my outcome. Mm, You're yeah. able to arrange your life. You know, mm. as Africans, we don't like making, planning our life sure. yeah. because we don't imagine ourselves dying mm. today or tomorrow. So sure. we want to hold on on that hope. Yes. It's good to hold on that hope, yes. but again, it's good to plan your life so that uh, when I'm told uh, mm. the prognosis, we call it the prognosis. Mm. My prognosis is like this. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm able to plan my life like yes even have like a small will for yes. your family. It's true. Then you're again, mm. if you ask what stage am I, yes. you're able to choose. Because uh, uh, you might say, if you, we, uh, I'm going to sell my whole land so that I, I can get cure. Mm. But we all, uh, we all know it, uh, the chances of you mm. curing this stage four yes. are not very high. Yes. So once you get to know, you're able mm. to decide, uh, mm. like I'm going to spare my ABCD, I'm yes. going to use ABCD mm -hmm. to push my life for this Absolutely. This time. Absolutely. So, yeah. when you go see your doctor, mm -hmm. ask all those kind of questions that you want to know. Mm. They will really help you manage your family, your mm. everything, mm. and arrange things 
vizuri wow. so that uh, most of the time we see yes. like you know now this patient is dying you're asking mm -hmm. well who do i need to call do you need mm. to talk to somebody mm. they're so stressed depressed yes. they're not even yes. able to express themselves so yes. most of them die mm. then they leave the family they are wondering mm. Mm. did you leave you know such kind of thing it's true yeah. wow i can't put it any better and uh, once again thank you ladies for coming on board um there's no more to add but you've had it from the specialists themselves um special oncology nurses they see this every day they take care of people with cancer every day and the sad bit is they maybe ask themselves i wish they knew this i wish they could come early enough for diagnosis or just a checkup so a message to you at home it doesn't matter how old how young you are even parents to young children take your kids to the hospital once a year just once just plan yourselves because without help nothing exists yeah. and there's hope cancer is curable when caught early and how do you do that it's by actually taking the first step which is self check and also checking with your doctor not your friends not google not movies <laughs> but with your doctors <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you Tomoka Coffee in Westlands at Anana Center for having us. Thank you for this beautiful setup and uh, thank you Adorwear for my outfit, my crew for making this possible and until next week at the same time, same place, have a good night.